Hey, what's going on guys? KS here, and I'm recording this video. I just got done recording the video on how to do this cool little button effect here. Uh, the little expanding line ring effect. Um, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and show you guys how to make this little drop down menu with the buttons and everything. Um, so yeah, basically what you're going to do is go ahead and just um, So you're going to place a frame into your wherever wherever you're gonna put every put in this uh, drop down menu and name this one um, drop down and inside of uh, this you're going to want to put a frame and a text button and I'm going to name the text button. Menu and like the front menu and the text button is going to be uh, selection. <clears throat> All right, so you're going to um, place selection. Uh, we're going to place the drop down menu at maybe point two five. Already size of it, so we can just drop this down uh, to position one and make this five. And the selection can be uh, zero on the background can be set transparent. I'll uh, make this scaled. I'm going to go to the drop down, make this black, uh, 12.6 transparency, do the same thing for the menu, make sure this is zero, I'll go back and do the same thing for that other one, makes it not want the border. <coughs> Alright, so now you got all this going. And to want to place a UI in this layout. And I'm going to rename this to UI. There's something you got to do this one. So you got to also delineate. And we'll just, uh, add in a pool value and name this um, open. And then you're going to create several uh, text buttons. Uh, so I'm just going to style this one and name a button. So I'm just going to style this one. And we'll just make two. And uh, no background. Make this one. No over background. So this one. Um, text to scale. White text. these um, multiple times and they will go into their positions. Alright, and obviously depending on what order you want these in, you're going to have to change the list layout um, or layout order. So the, the minimum, so you want, like let's say you want this one to be at the top, you'd set this one. Uh, 
uh, to one, and the one that's right here, two, three, or however you want to do it. So whatever order you want them to be in. Uh, and then the list layout uh, will put those in order based on their layout order. Alright. Uh, so now I'm just going to set all, of the, all these visibilities to false. And we can go ahead and add a script in. So we're going to go local script. And so we're going to go make this to effect. Alright, so local um, drop equals script dot parent. Uh, local menu equals uh, drop dot menu. Uh, local Open equals uh, menu dot open and selection equals drop dot selection on the uh, open dot value. Alright. So now we're gonna go uh, selection mouse button uh, one click connect function and now we've created uh, a function that will fire when you click the button to open up the menu and there's one thing I need to go back and do I need to make the menu uh, Y value set to zero. Alright. And let's close this out. Um, basically, what you're going to want to do here is um, if not open, then um, menu colon tween size uh, udim2 dot new uh, one comma zero comma out sign uh, 0 0.15 uh, true and then you're gonna copy this line right here and do it else so if it is open and you're gonna want to reverse that animation so back to zero um uh, so you, for the buttons um you're going to want these uh, to not be, you want them to be visible and then not visible. So for the first one, you're going to want to do um, for underscore button in pairs uh, menu colon get children uh, do. Uh, if button uh, is a um, text button, then um, you want button uh, visible equals true, and then you can go ahead and copy this and paste it down here, and we'll set that to false. And you're going to want to put a wait time of 0 0.05 before that happens in this one. And this one, open equals true. And then open equals false. Now for the button effects, when you hover over them, uh, drop down to the line and over 4 underscore button uh, in pairs uh, menu and get over uh, do if button uh, is a text label a uh, text button uh, then uh, button uh, mouse center and 
net uh, function. Now, uh, once you uh, this will fire once you hover over a button. So we're gonna do button dot background transparency equals zero point eight. Um, let's go ahead and copy this function, drop down one, and then we're about to leave. Uh, so it's transparency back to one. Alright, so that's the script for it. And so when you um, go into the game, it should do the same thing as the one I showed you in the beginning of the video. Um, I'm going to get this nice, beautiful lag for. I'll be able to test the script. <clears throat> oh, bear with me, this is a lot. I have a server computer and I just did these videos back to back, so you're going to see this in both the videos. Um, uh, so, the video before you're going to see this, and in this video you're going to see this. Um, just recording some videos that I can just upload. Uh, these next few days, and you know, while I still have Studio open and OBS open, I tend to forget to record videos. So, here we go. So, you click down all the buttons, and you can't click on, I mean, you can click on, but you can't really do anything, you're not going to do anything to the screen because uh, I don't have any script, uh, any code in there to open anything, and you just close it back up, and it does it nice and smoothly. Obviously, you can work around with like some of the sizing of the text, you know, positioning, and how everything looks. But this is just for uh, the tutorial purposes. I'm not doing anything fancy. Uh, just to give you an idea of how to do some of these cool little animations uh, with buttons that you might see in some uh, some of the games that you play on Roblox. Um, so yeah. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Um, uh, if you want to see more content like this, uh, be sure to, to subscribe, like the video, leave a like, and uh, if you want to see anything else, if there's anything specific you want me to show you how to do, uh, leave a comment down below and I will try and get to it um, at some point. Uh, make a video on how to uh, do what you need to show you how to do. And anyway, I'm um, dragging this video on too long, so. Uh, yeah, peace.